Hi everybody, welcome back to Silvertown. Here we are in Banished. Um, let's take a quick look before I hit... Um, what do you call that? Before I hit uh, unpause, I'm going to take a look and see how many of our villagers are freezing to death. We've got this line here of people. They're cold. Um, we're not working at that forester, if you recall. We had a little bit of a famine. Or, yeah, famine. Uh, food went down really low. We don't have any stored logs. We don't have any cut firewood. No medicine. It's been, frankly, a disaster. So I'm going to hit unpause. We've got 10 villagers. We've got uh, one student and three kids. Still have a teacher. One vendor. Just one builder. I'm not sure if we're going to have any more. Oh, a child named Medell was born. Okay. That's a good sign. Positive. In the right direction. We're still at uh, 10 times speed. Jaylin has become a student. So I think we're coming back a little bit. I'm trying to build up this food number. It's already down to less than 200. Uh, now less than 100. And probably going to be out soon again. <laughs> Darn it. Do I have any fisher people? No. No fisher people. Mm, let's take one forester away and make that forester a fisherman. And hopefully that will help. But I think this could be it. If we don't turn things around this episode, I might uh, I might abandon this village. Because all my people are pretty much gone. Corn has died. Oh, that was a disaster from the previous episode. Here we've got Anise. Totally unhealthy, but perfectly happy. I'm not sure why that is. Um, nobody's starving yet. So, hitting pause to close that menu. Like I said, I'm not sure what I did wrong. Um, I uh, played my other games exactly like this, and I seem to have done okay. I think maybe it's just the luck of the draw. Now, I'm not sure if wheat is necessarily the best thing to uh, try to grow for feeding your villagers. Oh, we did have an adult. Irene. So let's make Irene uh, another fisherman. Get our food production back up. Uh, like I was saying, I'm not sure what happened. It might have been just a bad luck of the draw. I thought by having this big lake here, and by having the fisher people there, that I would be doing okay. But I'm I'm actually not. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay, down to five times speed. Let's see, I hear a lot of farming going on. And we've got, uh, we've got a little food, not a whole lot. We can't really build any more new houses. I've got a few empty ones. Who's living in here? That's Rosalyn. Ralphius has become a student. Not getting anybody born yet. Is that a concern? Oh, are we chopping trees? I hear, I hear uh, an axe going somewhere. Rill and Medell, they live in that wooden house. Nobody lives in this one. So, no more, uh... No more, um, what do you call that? No more people getting born. But we're up to 24 stored firewood. That's kind of a good sign. It's middle of summer. We're building up slowly on the food, I guess. Shall I have people manually cut some trees down? Maybe I should. Oops. <laughs> Resume. Didn't mean to hit that button. I wanted to hit removal and destruction. Harvest some trees. Let's harvest... Oops. Let's harvest these trees here. And let's see if that can give us some stored logs and maybe build up a little firewood. In case anybody's out there not working like our builder. We'll take away our builder... And make the fi builder a fisherman. Hopefully that will help us out with the food situation. And it looks like we've got somebody here with an axe. That would be... What is that? Oops. That is Irene. Relatively healthy. I think part of the problem was this... This herbalist is in no way collecting anything. Too probably too close to town. Oh, I hit that button again. So what if I did this? If I remove structures, 
Can I just do that? Maybe. But I took away the builder, so I'm not sure if that's going to work. But now we're harvesting. We're bringing in the harvest again. So I'm going to take away this tree because it's in the middle of everything. So hopefully bringing in this food will get our numbers back up a little bit. Not sure. What do we have in the uh, in the marketplace? We've got 28 wheat, 20 iron tools, 8 iron. Don't need a blacksmith yet still. Don't have the people, really. And we've got some wheat in the barn. Not a whole lot. And, like I said, the average health is just terrible. Hmm. Let's take away our woodcutter, since our woodcutter isn't doing anything. And let's make our woodcutter a builder. And maybe they will uh, tear down this herbalist. Because the herbalist really isn't doing us any favors. Our uh, citizens are sick. <coughs> Looks like the farmers are hard at work. A child named Fisher Idan was born. Okay. That'll work. Maybe Fisher Idan can become a fisher man. Got a freezing uh, town there. Not a town. House. <laughs> Let's turn it back up. Turning up to 10 times speed to bring in the harvest extra quick. Got some, uh, it looks like pecans there. The pecans seem like they come in crates. Has anybody chopped down any of these trees? No, not really. Maybe one or two. Well, there's one. Nope, oh, chop down one tree and then call it a day. <laughs> See, that's the people of Silvertown. They don't like to work too hard. <laughs> you don't want to break a sweat and ruin your nice clothes, which pretty much are your only pair since we don't have a tailor. <laughs> so I guess I can see the logic in that. It's late autumn. It's snowing again. Will they be able to bring in the rest of the wheat before it uh, dies on the vine there? Let's see. Maybe. Oh. Nope. It's going. I think it's too late. Oh, not maybe they got one. Alright, well we built up to eleven fifty eight. I guess that's okay. And now they're finally clearing out these trees. And I think these are all the herbs. I should have put the herbalist down here somewhere. Maybe over here. Oh boy. Um Alright, can they make it through this winter? I don't know. <laughs> that that is a good question oh they tore, tore down the herbalist so they've got their stone back and some logs back and we're not turning logs into fire into um, firewood just yet but actually maybe we should so I'm going to take away one of the farmers and make one of the farmers a woodcutter and hopefully we'll build up some wood firewood to get through the winter and let's tell our Let's tell our builder to actually build an herbalist up here somewhere. So, let's see. Can I find where the herbalist was again? Cemetery, roads and bridges, markets, trade, town services. Was it wasn't under food production, was it? Gatherer's hut, hospital. Where was the herbalist? I'm going to hit pause for a second while I figure this out. Hmm. Trading post, market, stockpile, storage barn. Well, schoolhouse, hospital, town hall, chapel, cemetery. Crop, orchard, pasture, fishing dock, kidney cabin, gatherer's hut. Oh, here it is. Okay, so let's turn this around. And let's zoom out a little bit. So we can see the field of operation here. Let's put the herbalist. Put the herbalist right. Well, gosh darn it. There really is no good place. 
We do have this bridge. Maybe the herbalist should go up here. I'm thinking maybe. I'll put the herbalist way the heck over here. Because there's not as much stone. And I'll put it right... Well, I guess I'll put it right... Right there. Now, hopefully that will work better for us. Hitting unpause. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Early spring. We made it through spring. And we had enough food. And I don't think anybody froze to death. Even though it's been a lot of snow that winter. All right. Well, hopefully we're back on track with this episode. I'm not sure. You know what I might do? Um is I might play this game offline for a little bit to see if I can get these guys to um, come back. So once I start building new, um, new buildings, like if I ever get around to building the tailor or, um, or a, a hospital or a cemetery or something, maybe I'll start recording again. But I'll, hopefully once I get this um, stockpile of, of goods and services back up to a uh, par. Because... <laughs> As it is now, we're just not doing too well. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and hit pause on this. I'm going to hit that button again. I'm going to hit save. Hopefully you're seeing all this. Save my silver town. There we go. And then I'm going to load old Elysium. This is my other save file. And we're going to, yes, load that game. And let's take a look. This is a town. Check it out. This town. This is what I'm talking about. We've got crops, cabbages, corn, potatoes, beans, apples, plums. Um, a lot of people are dying. Why are people dying in this town? I just can't do too well, can I? <laughs> but here we've got 120 people, um, 27 students, 25 kids. So I know how to at least uh, get something going. Although, our food supply is low. Oh well, anyway, thanks again for watching. I will see you again next time. So, good luck and goodbye. <laughs>